we have decided to talk about tea vi towels. Yeah, vintage, pretty much vintage tea towels today. We call them tea towels. Some other people sometimes call them dish towels. So we're going from older to new er. So we found, I got these at uh, Value Village in Ottawa once, like 50 cents a piece. And of course, happy times after the war. These are from the 50s. You can see it is a happy poodle yes. cooking um, because happy poodles cook. So poodles were also very, very popular. Right. In yes. the 50s, very on trend. So mm -hmm. you had your poodles. So everything was poodle. And yep. as most good old tea towels are made from linen, right? Not just any linen. Do you know what kind of linen? Where's the linen from? Do you know? China. No. India. <laughs> it's Irish linen. Irish You want <laughs> Irish linen. <laughs> if you want a good tea towel. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's keep going. So that's 50s. Now, it took me the longest time. This is embarrassing. To figure out what year this was. Do you see the year? I'll put it up yeah, there. Yeah, so it's 19. You can see 1968. it? 1968. Well, it's 1968. That's yeah. right. And I, for whatever reason I wasn't looking anyways <laughs> uh this is uh this is also a uh, linen mm -hmm. and it's uh this is um I think this is a Canadian artist who actually yeah that's did these. those are all so, Canadian birds so it makes sense oh well, yeah. yeah North American yeah. birds so yeah really cool um oh they're even labeled what yeah. they are and um you know they made them as calendars because we probably need to refer to you know a date or a time when we're washing dishes or drawing them this would have been a beautiful tourist one from Paris in 1977. Oh, yeah. I was 10 when this came out. I got this at a value village. We, I didn't get this in Paris, but um, this is, of course, is the calendar. Oh. And uh, I mean, what a lot of people do now is they just use them in art or pillows mm -hmm. or recushion chairs or make them into other things. So... That's a lovely one. I always thought this would be nice framed. I think it's right. beautiful. You know, going back to this one yeah. here from 68, you realize, no, well, you were just a little chick. I was one. Yeah. Yes, I was one. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, this one uh, you came upon, never used, but it's, we think it's probably from like the 80s. It just mimics the look of things yeah. um, designed from the 50s. It's much, much thicker soft this one i think actually is made in china so it's more of a retro well oh, yeah. oh, it's it it was it was ret it was like retro vibe in the 80s so yeah. 80s towel with yeah. a more of a 50s feel to it so yeah because they used to do years ago they'd give preserves to people and they put these fancy little hats on them that's right yeah on the that's what that was stuff. yeah so now we're in 1982 <laughs> australia i got this one i think at a I just thought it was beautiful. Yeah. I thought I thought once about cutting it out and framing it. But, oh, no. But I didn't. So no. I just unravel it sometimes and look at it. I just love maps, yeah. traveling stuff, and uh, vintage tea towels. So the animals on it and the people are really, really cute. This one is from Bermuda. It's um, very much a nice Irish linen. Um, oh, yeah. So again, the maps, tourism ones are very, very mm -hmm. popular. It's very pretty. We went to Bermuda. Yeah, we were there twice, so. Yeah, yeah. You went with me once. We had fun. Oh, yeah. She got sun poisoning, but we had fun. Yeah, I was hospitalized <laughs> with sun poisoning. You had to bring that up, didn't you? I thought yeah. it was fun until she was talking about that. My face mm. was all swollen up. Okay, so here we have a nice vintage workhorse. Oh, this that's is, uh, I can't read with the, anyways, this would be something to a nod from something from England. Shire horse. Yeah, yeah, I think. And so it's a little faded, it's old, but it's just nice. I don't yeah. think they make this stuff anymore. No, so. not like that. Not with those cute designs. That's so, uh, and then I wanted to talk about, so these are vintage, <clears throat> but let's talk about the difference between vintage and retro. Okay. So vintage means actually authentically old. Retro, old. this is a brand new one, but it's kind of got that old fashioned, or this is more like a mid-century modern right, 50s yeah. vibe on these designs. Yeah. So this is what you would say is retro because it's 
Yeah. It's uh, looking like it's an older design, but yeah. it's new. Mm -hmm. So some of these things, um, when we find something that's old but never been used, they'll say NOS, that's new old stock. So oh. this one from the 80s was probably NOS, new old stock. And then when it's a product that's in a box, NIB, it's new in box. So it's just kind of oh, online shopping lingo okay. for when you're buying stuff. So uh -huh. <clears throat> anyways, there we have it. We call them tea towels. Some people might call them dish towels. Yeah. Um, we've used them for all kinds of things over the years, not just in the kitchen, but mm -hmm. wrapping food up, putting ice in, sticking on my busted ankles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all kinds of things, maybe... Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you're collecting something and learning about it and having fun. Bye.